here we go. Um, they're going to be sending a driver from the factory on the 13th. Ready for this one, Tom? That day will be Friday, 13th. <laughs> no. <laughs> It is a safety issue here. It is a massive safety issue. So there's a lot of blame going around. I don't think it's the RV consumer. We have breaking news. Grand Design RVs issues a statement about the frame flex or frame failure issue. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.live. Sometime on Friday, Grand Design RVs put out the following statement on their website. I'll read the first part of it to you. Since our beginning in 2012, we have had the mission to build a better RV and a better RV company. Everything we do and every product we build revolves around our customers with the goal to create a superior RV experience. We back up this commitment to quality with first class service and the industry's most comprehensive and trusted warranties. Simply put, we stand behind every RV we make. In the spirit of our commitment to our customers, we would like to provide information around frame flex. Frame flex is a normal movement of the chassis in specific areas to absorb shock and stress. Our data indicates that a small number of larger solitudes and momentum fifth wheels may have experienced excessive frame flex. If you think you're experiencing something irregular with your frame, please see the FAQ below and reach out to our customer service department at Grand Design RV. And then they have an FAQ or frequently asked questions following that. We'll put a link below to that website uh, in the description. Plus we have a companion blog post that has all of our videos in there and helpful links about RV frame flex. And for the few of you that have not heard of frame flex and or frame failure, you don't know what it is, is you've got an RV, large RV, it's on a frame. You've got your tires, and this frame that the whole house, your RV is built onto. And that frame can kind of move as you go down the road. A little bit of flex is normal, but when it flexes excessively, that can cause a break in some of the welded joints underneath there. Now, what you don't know behind the news of this statement from Grand Design is that a lot has gone on behind the scenes, and we intend to tell that story. We actually have in-depth interviews coming out with uh, several Grand Design RV owners about the process, the struggle they went through identifying it getting help, getting it to the factory, and everything like that. Those are coming out really soon, so make sure you subscribe. We'll actually preview some of those right now. Pete West has spent tons of time talking to many RVers about their problems, helping them to navigate uh, this particular issue and get the help that they need from Grand Design RVs. I talked with Pete extensively. Here's a little taste of our interview that's going to be coming up on our channel. So insurance has ruled officially that it's a manufacturing defect. It is a safety issue here. It is a massive safety issue. 70% of the Grand Designs coming into his uh, facility have flat right. springs and they're overweight. I'll let you in on a secret. <laughs> so if it's a non-approved pin box, it's yeah. good business to take care of your customers and terrible business to not. There is no regulation in the RV industry. And, and I find it, I'm going to say it right here, you know, live and all that good stuff. It's disgusting that it doesn't. How is it that the industry like this that has these rigs out on the road 
They're out on the road, which could cause serious um, harm to people, even death. And there's no regulation. I don't understand that. And they've gotten away with it too long. They've gotten away with it too long. So I'm, I'm coming after the entire RV industry when I say this. They need to be regulated. And again, a huge thank you to Pete West for being a champion, a true hero in the moment to help make a difference uh, in the RV industry. The RV industry isn't exactly known as being quick to make changes, but I have to let you know, uh, this change, this update from Grand Design has come pretty quick. It has just been in the last few weeks that a lot has gone on behind the scenes that we're going to let you know about and has really, I think, forced the hand of Grand Design RVs to issue this statement and to uh, formally acknowledge this particular problem. I also interviewed fellow Minnesotan Greg Carlson about the problems with his Grand Design RV. Uh, and this clip right here, uh, when Grand Design showed up to initially take a look at his RV, uh, this was scary, and maybe the most scary part of this is his wife was inside and she fell to the floor when this happened. Can you believe that? I mean, that was bad. Uh, definitely a learning experience for that RV tech. Uh, and here's a little bit of a taste of our interview with Greg. Uh, shortly after the weekend of Thanksgiving, of just this past Thanksgiving, I noticed, uh, if you're familiar with the 380 model people, it's a front living room model, which has the televator, the front cabinets, and all that stuff in the front living room. And I noticed the the shelf that carries where the televator is, where it meets the wall, was creating a wear mark that followed the perfect profile of the routered edge of the trim. So I started thinking, this is a clear indication of movement. I should probably look into this a little further. My shelving, my floors in the cabinets, the dividing walls were imploding. I mean, some of the staples had virtually pulled three-fourths of the way out. Trim was being pulled off. I stuck my head inside of uh, the door side of the front cabinet because I noticed a bulge in my wall where the expansion joint was cut. And those screws that attach the cabinetry to that wall had pulled about three-quarters inch of the way away. Well, I shouldn't say pulled. The wall actually moved out. So I knew there is something bad going on. So I went outside, examined the trim where it comes up the phylon into the cap of the camper. That trim that forms that shape and contour, a telltale sign is the caulking is pulling free and your decals show marks of where they're like being eroded and worn away. Um, so then I, I knew I had a problem. We're accepting your claim. Well, then they basically later on in the day unaccepted my claim because they said, you have an air ride pin box and key thing here, people, and you have airbags in your truck that voids the structural warranty, which I didn't know, but the clinker here is. I do not have an airbag on my pin box. It's the Moride pin box that came with this camper. So I told her, please look at the photos again. There's no airbag there. That sort of showed me they were really quick to want to do. And a huge thank you to Greg for doing this interview uh, and providing so much detail and helping out fellow RV owners out there because this issue is really bigger than Grand Design. It, it seems like it's mostly Grand Design when you look at all the RV YouTube videos out there, but it has impacted other larger fifth wheels uh, as well in the market. I think the difference is 
uh, many of the other manufacturers have been jumping on it and helping their owners. I mean, that was our experience uh, initially. Uh, we have a grand design momentum uh, that may or may not have frame flex. We don't know, but we have had frame flex on our previous RV, and it was fixed immediately uh, by a service team that raced out from Lippert and Columbus RV to fix this problem and uh, the service was spectacular at that point. That hasn't necessarily been happening in all instances right now, but all of the YouTube videos, the social media posts out there from both large channels uh, and also small channels has really helped to hyper-focus the attention on this and I think that's the power of social media in a good way. All of this attention has, again, forced the hand of Grand Design to acknowledge the problem, and we hope to take care of everyone. Uh, again, to give you a little bit of background on us, we do have a Grand Design Momentum RV that we bought second hand used, so we're not the original owners and the factory warranty does not apply to us. So we still are going through the process ourselves. Hopefully we will also get included with this inspection to see do we have it and also the fixes that are required. Uh, you can check out our videos where we show you actually some of the evidence that we have that might indicate that. Uh, there'll be a link to our blog post with our other videos as well, and you can check that out. Now, the RV industry has been putting some information out there, many on other uh, YouTube channels, that basically say a lot of it is on the RV consumer, us, basically, for overloading the RV is one thing, driving too fast, uh, braking too fast, accelerating too fast, going off road in your RV, upgrading your pin box. For example, we have a Gen Y executive uh, pin box here. That's an upgrade, but it's not technically approved by Lippert for our particular RV frame. So there's a lot of blame going around. I don't think it's the RV consumer uh entirely for sure i think there's definitely some manufacturing defects going on and i think as we go through this and more and more rv owners get this looked at and taken care of more information will come out as to exactly what the causes are but i am of the opinion my personal opinion is it is not the RV consumer that is at fault, that these are not being built to the standards to do the kind of camping that the marketing material that we all see when we go to buy an RV, you know, when we're out there in the woods boondocking, you maybe had to go on a dirt road to get there. And, you know, sometimes that's, you know, it's a constant earthquake, as you've heard and the RV should be built for that. And as we all know, some dirt roads are actually better than the paved roads in America these days because there's a lot of crappy roads out there. And our RV needs to be built to handle that. So what can you do if you suspect frame flex in your RV? Well, talk to your manufacturer or contact Lippert. We will put that information down below in the description and in our companion blog post. For Grand Design owners, you can contact Grand Design Customer Service. We'll put that link down below. But there's also the Facebook group Grand Design RV Frame Flex Problems, and we will link to that as well. There's over 600 members in that group now. So that's also a place to get some answers and talk to other owners uh, that are experiencing the same problem. And it's not an official Grand Design uh, owner page, meaning that you're not going to be censored or have your comments deleted just because you mentioned the word 
frame flex or frame failure, which is some of the problems that have, that have been happening is uh, people that have asked questions in some of the other groups that are put on by the company, uh, Grand Design, that their comments get deleted, their posts get deleted, people are harassing them, saying you're lying or whatever the case may be. So it's, I would say it's a safer place to express your frustration and connect with other owners that are having the same issue. So rather than just repeating what the RV industry, what the manufacturers say the problem is, we're gonna to talk to other Grand Design RV owners specifically in these interviews about what they've had to go through so again, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we've got these full interviews coming out with other Grand Design RV owners on the signs that they experienced, their experience with Grand Design customer service, and all of that. And again, what other RV owners are going through like us because we want to help you guys to get the repairs done so you can get back on the road, get your RV ready for camping season, which is right around the corner. We are in the same boat. We want to know that our RV is safe before we take it back on the road. And for our next video, you can click right here.